Hello Normans, this is Ricky Lee from KBF6. Uh, it's Sunday morning, March 24th, and I'm here at the mile 18 mark right next to our Beverly Hills High School. Uh, runners began at 6.45 for a woman and 6.55 for a man from Dodger Stadium to Santa Monica Beach area. This international event brings people, different countries and local residents together with local fire and police departments keeping the competitors safe. The first runner passed the mile and team mark at 8.24 a.m. with many runners expected to break 2 hour 20 minute mark. Close to the mile 18 mark is a cheer alley with participating high school cheerleaders. So, um, any thoughts, comments, opinions on this event? Um, actually, you know what, this is the first time I've come out to, to support this. And just by looking at it and seeing these people going, it's just, it's amazing. It's crazy. I, you know, I give it to these people because I wouldn't be able to do this at all, you know? Um, and also my, my daughter's here with her group and they're here to support the whole thing too and she loves this stuff so I know that this is probably going to be a big thing for her. She'll I see. Do you have any family members participating here? Participating? No, just like I said, my daughter's here just with her, you know, supporting the whole running thing. But I know this is, like I said, this is something that she wants to do. So I know that this right here, she's loving it. The marathon also shuts down major portions of Los Angeles with street closures affecting many LA residents. Since 1986, the marathon has challenged close to 1 million competitors. The unifying event is now one of the fourth largest event in the US and one of the top 10 worldwide. This is my 19th marathon, 7th LA marathon. Um, had a lot of fun today, it was great out there. The hardest thing for me about this is that I've been working around the clock for the past two weeks and barely got any sleep the last two nights. And um, I definitely felt it out there, but I'm glad I can just like lay in bed the rest of the day and have a good uh, rest until tomorrow where I'll be really sore and can't walk. So we're out here representing UCLA, representing Leukemia Lymphoma Society. I'm running this one today for, for my buddy Leon, for Heather, for Becca. Oh God, this is a lot of suffering, but it's nothing compared to what they're going through. So I love those guys. I love you, buddy. Man, uh, I was diagnosed with leukemia last year. So it's a personal challenge of mine to beat, beat cancer by winning this race. I'm glad I got good friends like David. Uh, all the cancer survivors out there, you're not alone. All the cancer survivors, all the caregivers, we love you. Anything's possible, man. We love you guys. I mean, there's so many mental challenges. You, you I don't know if you've heard of the wall, but it's just this mental block. Um, and it's all mental, you know? You just gotta, gotta like have short little breaks where you're coming through and it's just all about the short-term goals and, and powering through it. And we relied a lot on each other and it was, it was a struggle, but we're here. We made it in good time. Yeah, as David said, uh, don't go through life alone. Celebrate those small victories and you'll get the finish line. And it's better to cross the finish line with friends and by yourself, remember that. Better cross the finish line with friends. We'll keep you updated. Uh, once again, I'm Ricky Lee from KBF6.